Hello everyone, welcome to your Plant Illusion channel. I'm Mish. I'm Blues. I'm Mastodon. And I'm Rocco. Hey, what's up everyone? The whole entire Plant Illusion gang is here and today we are gonna be introducing a brand new game mode known as 2v2. So in this game mode, it's very similar to regular 1v1s, but there are two players, as the name suggests. And both- Two players on each team. Yes, Four two players, players on each team. <laughs> <laughs> And then, players work together uh, against the other two players to try to defeat them. The differences between this and just playing with one deck are that you gain 8 DNA every turn, and both players draw a card, so together you're drawing two cards. On each player's turn, uh, you take turns together with your teammate. You can play any cards from either player's hand, and any abilities that are like search your deck, draw a card, you can choose which player does that. Because you're acting as like, one player, but with two decks, pretty much. Okay, so today, Mastodon and Blues are on his team, and Mish and Rocco. Hi. <laughs> Blues and Mastodon are the t this side over with here. With duct tape. Yes, yes, with the duct tape cards. And then Mish has the starter deck that we opened. Yes, and by the way, if you do want to pick up a starter deck, it's on the Game Crafter. And I just have my Toronto Control deck that I beat Blues with. All that right. was bad. So... This is one of the many game modes that we are testing out. We will have many more of these 2v2 gameplay videos coming up in the future, along with other game modes. Possibly. <laughs> now, let's continue. So, roll to see who goes first. Six. Beat that. Three. Three. First or second? Uh, I think first, right? Sure. Oh, by the way, in this, first players don't draw cards, but they do just start at eight DNA. They don't have a downside in DNA. So, go up to 8 DNA. And we do not draw cards. Oh, this is our... D Stop. The black this is one our is the DNA, DNA die. And the that red. one is our life die. And that's... I don't For know us, else. the blue one will be our life. Yes. And then the green one is our DNA die. So, we begin. We gain 8 DNA. Do not draw a card. Yes. And... Want to just pass? Oh, yes. That's a good one. Mm. No, this. All right. Place double fly. So, its ability, when it enters, we draw a card. By the way, it's actually a 50-50. Should card. I yeah, go? Some of Should these cards are still the old cards, and they might have Should some I draw? small differences. Uh, I'll draw, because I already did. Yeah. <laughs> right. We were okay. just balancing. And now that. we'll sacrinum. Uh, I think we will, sure. right? We sacrifice double fly to planet Tararo's ability. Should By the I way, draw? both players share one planet. And yeah, you can draw, since I drew from double fly. And, and we gain back the DNA because of planet Tararo's ability. Pass the turn. Yeah, your turn. You go. Our turn. Okay, so for our turn, we both draw a card and then we gain eight DNA. Six. Six. All right. Six. So for three DNA, we will play random operations. Apparitions. <laughs> Apparitions. <laughs> and what basically, what it does, zoom in and read it. <laughs> <laughs> what it does is you can play a three DNA creature for one DNA once per turn. Or a three or less DNA creature for one DNA once per turn, but it goes back to your hand if it's still alive at, at the, the end start of your next at turn. At the end of your opponent's turn. Okay, at the end of your opponent's turn. So you won't want to be bringing out, like, something that you want to keep on the field. For the one DNA. With that ability. Sure. Random Operations is very good with Taro because you can bring out something for, like, three. And okay, so one, one, we bring out a wolf with Gosh. Random Apparitions. Then, the you'll yeah, get a wolf from my deck to the field. This is very powerful because the second wolf actually stays on the field because it wasn't brought out by random apparitions. And also this wolf should be on bottom because of It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't. Okay. It, it doesn't matter. Just to make Mish happy. Um, anything else? With should we just save up for now? They have a lot of DNA. I think we'll save up. DNA. Yes. Okay, wolf attacks you for 50. No! Okay. I thought you were going to sacrifice him. So did I. Okay, we, we draw. Defenders. But better <laughs> draw. to have two defenders. So. Both players draw. Okay, you have 16 DNA. Uh, Guys, you have 16 DNA. Sorry. Why'd you tell this? <laughs> ha ha. Ha ha? What? <laughs> so he told you it's better to have two defenders. Okay, so we go to 11 DNA because we pay 5 for Terra Hydra Ventus Beast. Now, we're going to pay... Five again to play a second Terra Hydra Ventus Beast. See, this is why it's better to have two defenders. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
No, wait, sorry. Uh, we were on six. Okay. So now, move to combat? Oh, wait, no. I'm going to play a Rocco and then sacrifice Rocco so we just stay at six DNA. This is my graveyard, by the way. Yeah. And do you want to draw? You can draw. And now I get to bring out a Rocco from what? From my deck to my field. Okay, so sorry, guys. It took me a while to find Rocco. But Rocco is now on the field right here. And we're going to move to I'm combat. I'm on the field. Yes, you are. And now, Terajabatis Beast attacks and eats wolf number one. Yeah. Devours. Yes. Devouring. And now, okay, the second one attacks and eats wolf number two. And then Devours. Rocco goes in for an almighty 50 damage. We go to 12. We go to okay, 12 DNA. Okay, okay, so now it's our turn and we both draw a card. Yes. Okay, so I'll play a Planison for one using random apparition ability. Then another Planison for two. Oh my hmm. gosh. Mastodon, maybe? Then Rocco for one. Mastodon. Then Mastodon. Mastodon for one. He was sacrificed. By sacrificing all of these creatures. So since Rocco was sacrificed, we get to put another Rocco from one of our decks onto the field. And then for you both Planisons, we get to put two more things. A plan to play the rock. Mm. Costing three or less DNA. Okay, Oops. that's the Rocco from Rocco's ability. Full, so we made it a bit Okay, weird. and then both Planisons will play a Headless Vera, and these can take out the Terra Hydra and the Spice. That's sad. Now my Veras are useless, though, in my deck. That's good. I, I have Headless Veras. Oh, good. Okay, so they're not so fully useless. Seven. Okay, during our turn, Mastodon will attack Terra Hydra Ventus Beast. And he dies. Then one headless Vera will attack this Terra Hydra Ventus Beast. It gets devoured, oh, and the um, second one will finish it I off. I accidentally flipped it. Oh, it's nineteen. Okay. But both headless spheres die. And then Rocco will trade with Rocco. No, my Rocco is clearly better. No. Yes, it is. My master. It's from the better. Sacrifice Starter deck. Would you? I'm kidding. Stop. Her keeps getting Now it's your turn. It, this is okay. Whatever. Now it's your turn. We draw! Um, that's very useful in this situation. I don't think I need this Rocco, so I think I'm gonna play it, and then I'm going to sacrifice it to play it to our house. Oh, another we forgot one? to gain DNA at the start of the turn. No, you gained it. Yes, obviously, because you can definitely be at six. <laughs> <laughs> so again, that, we play Rocco, go down one DNA, then we sacrifice him to point at ability, going back up to 14. And can I draw? Sure. I draw a card. And you get Rocco? Mm, no, there are no Rockos in my deck. I, I might. The have only cards in my graveyard are the three Rockos in my deck. Do, isn't there four cards? The only cards in my graveyard. Oh wait. Yeah, you can. If you get have it. a Rocco, you can find one. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Advantages of the two v two. Woo! Rocco. Yeah, your Rocco can totally stand up to a mask. Oh, where was Yes, it? as it shows on the box. Rocco is bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now... Can you see this? Can you see this? Uh, also, Bluce, on the box, Rocco is not bigger than that. So. Yeah. Rocco is <laughs> going to play... A Stein truck. We go down to 11 <laughs> DNA. <laughs> and now, with 11 DNA, should I play this? I'm going to play Vera for four. Yeah. Going down to seven. Now we move to combat, and Stein Tribe's going to attack Mastodon. Ma because Stein Tribe died, Mastodon dies too. That's your card. And we attack with Vera. 300. 300. And then Rocco, 50. 50. So that's 350, you're at 1600. Ooh. 1600. We, I draw. Yes, for our, our turn, we draw, and we're at 15 DNA. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. Okay, first, we'll just play a Terra Hydra Rentus Beast. This. Going down to 10 DNA. Perfect. Yeah. And then, for with random apparitions, we'll play Wolf for one. Going oh down to nine. Gosh. And Boost will search his deck for a Wolf. Gosh. That is OP. All our stuff is going to die. They didn't play very much. Okay. <laughs> they played 8 DNA, we played 5. It'd be a shock. Oh, wait. No, we played six. Yeah, because of... 
Yeah. Because of random apparitions. And then, I think, I forgot what it said. Terahydromantis beast will devour Vera, and Vera's ability does not activate since it was devoured. And didn't die. Look at that die. beautiful card back. Yes. yes, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Put it on top of the card. That's even better than Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Wolf will and kill Vera Rocco. And devoured. Our turn. We draw! Yeah, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, first, we gain DNA. We're at 15 DNA, like they were. Do you? We play Big Boy Gus. Yeah. Now we play Rocco. That's me. Rocco plays himself. Yeah. And we sacrifice Rocco because Rocco was made to be sacrificed. I think, how are you guys still not out of Rocco's <laughs> yeah, whole game? Wait, just, are I we at seven? No, we're at eight. No, eh, we're at seven. You were at 15. No, we draw. Yeah, we're at eight. And, wait, should I draw? You draw. You draw. We draw. I draw. Wait, why am I <laughs> shuffling? I didn't put a Rocco. <laughs> yep, Rocco. Yee. So that wolf's going to return to their hand anyways. There are points in killing it. I don't think so, right? I mean... Well, we get to play another wolf if you go. I don't think you have another... Whatever. I guess it's fine. No, I, I don't want to... Mm? Yes. Hammer. No. Okay, never mind. There's no point in killing it. <laughs> okay, so we go down uh, to uh, three uh, DNA. Uh, How are we at only three DNA? I okay, don't know. So now... Usually we're the team that saves up till 20, but like... Yeah. <laughs> Big boy Gus. <laughs> oh, him? Okay. No. <laughs> Okay, so our hydromantis beast dies. And this guy goes to the graveyard. But it didn't die. It was just sent to the graveyard. And now, Hammerhead Eel, eat that wolf. Nom nom. Hammerhead's nom, e nom. Hammerhead Eel's ability is when he attacks and defeats another creature, you can devour it. And if he would be destroyed, well, killed, then you can remove one of his devoured creatures and he survives. Okay, our turn. We both draw a card and we go up to 17 DNA. Why is my deck so far away? I don't think it's on camera, probably. Maybe here. Yeah, that's good. Wait. Cool. No. Yeah. <laughs> Just reaching for emptiness. Okay. There. What? I don't know. I honestly no. can't see it. Doesn't matter. It was okay. a really so, bad move. We'll play a turbo Birdo for no. 4 DNA. No, you will not. And go down to 13. That's sad. Then, Monument to Sacrifice for 3. It says 4, but this is the old version. Oh, no. We all know what's coming. Goes to 10. What is? You know it. <laughs> I do. Five stability. No. Shiro Ceratops combo. We can do another one. Not really combo, just. Okay. Just yeah, Shiro Ceratops. Another monument of sacrifice. What no. the heck? <laughs> We're gonna take like a truly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go, okay. Yeah. But it only activates three times, not four, right? Uh, yeah. It doesn't double it. Okay. And then we play Shiro Ceratops for six. Going down to one DNA. Are you going to be at three? Then, um, no. we sacrifice Shield Oceratops to Planet Tororo's ability. No! Gaining two no, DNA. Gaining two not. DNA. Then, we use two of that DNA to activate each of the Monuments of Sacrifice once. So, now, Shield Oceratops' ability activates three times, and we put 24 plus counters on the creature we control. We don't even have enough dice for this. <laughs> Six. Twelve. Okay, I guess we can take these. There, 24. That's and how much is that? So it has 1,200 plus 350, so 1,550 attack. Oh, we're almost dead in what one hit. Attack? That's absurd. 1,550 attack. So who do we want to destroy? Yes, you want to attack this guy, for sure. Rocco. Best attack right there. Yeah, we attack Rocco. Dang it. No. Do your maximum Don't damage. attack me. You wouldn't dare attack me. So you're dealt 1,500 damage. Just from this 400 health. That is sad. <laughs> that was power. <laughs> yes. Our turn? Yeah. Yes. Ha! Try dealing with this. All right. Easy. Ooh, I got this. What'd you get? Mish! That's me! I'm the greatest. No. <laughs> and now we sacrifice me. <laughs> yeah. Against sacrifice. Can I draw a card? Sure. I draw a card. And now. See, all three of the other Yeet. people other than me are just made to be Somebody sacrificed. Somebody wants to. <laughs> <laughs> that Some... all three of us were made to be sacrificed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody wants to tell me that I have to be sacrificed to get master. No. To the world. Okay, okay, so now head. to make sure that that guy can't just survive. Um, Hammerhead Eel will eat Wolf the second. Yeah. So now he has three lives. That's a lot. 
Watch them do that again. And now Stein Tribe kills what? Turbo Bruno sacrifices itself and it stays on the field. Face dead. <laughs> okay. Face down. And now Big Boy Gus attacks for 600, but mainly Berry Bush. We got a 10. We got a 10. Or a thousand life. Somebody. Our turn. Yes. He Try getting past that hammerhead eel. And we go up to Triple 90. Line. Piercing. I think we're still in this yeah, because can. of that sign yeah, track. Oh, they, they they just said they won. Oh. No, I said we can. Oh, <laughs> we can. We won. <laughs> we can. Unless they have like another Turbo Birdo and they pump it somehow, I don't think they can win. I wish. Okay. I think so, we got this game in the bag. That the one. Not yet. This. Yeah, not yet. One. We got this game. Okay, in the snake. we played um, a meal for what? one DNA. Thus. Then, Sea Bass Grass for one DNA using random apparitions ability. Thus. Yeah. We'll sacrifice Sea Bass Grass to Tororo's ability now. Yeah. And Get using its ability, we get Planison and we gain two DNA. Because of Tororo. You guys and have also, Mastodon? Also, I will draw a card. No. How many cards are I said Planison. Okay. Who, That's your deck. Who said Mastodon? Nobody yep. said You're Mastodon. Mastodon. Mm. I think you have Mastodon. <laughs> I don't. Or else he would have played it over. But just how can we deal 400 damage through this? <laughs> you, you can deal 400 damage through this. Yeah. But we need we, a piercing yeah. for that. Yeah, that's what, I thought that's what you meant. Oh, oh no. you mean like kill it? I meant like how do we kill it? Wait, put your death back. Oh, we're just going to devour Please. the Emil then. And he's going to give him... Just kidding. No. It's a big clips. <laughs> I'm kidding. That would be nice. A meal's ability is when it is sacrificed, you can equip it to uh, an meal from your graveyard to a creature you control, and right, the so equipped creature gains 50 attack Wait, and health. Too bad this guy devours and doesn't equip them to him. No, but we can up so that it doesn't kill him. Oh, wait, that does not work. Don't, just don't attack there. You will never destroy Hammerhead Eel without an Asteroid Z or something. Or wait, if you play that. Shred. I'll should we save off. this for later, or should we just do it? It does. This ability is killed. Okay, we'll play Turbo Birdo for four. Go I down need to go five. Turbo Birdo. That's, and then, that's really bad for us. Fine. Probably. I'm just, I'm just getting this just So to Turbo Birdo can survive by seconds or someone else. This is going to be really bad for us. But it, I think... No, they'll just kill the other thing. Just play this. Wait, Wait no, it doesn't... He can, he can, if they attack with this, he, he can get rid of him. But they won't. They'll attack that. Okay. Or they'll play something. So, but then Turbo Roberto can attack again the next turn. No, but just we won't have anything left to sacrifice if they kill both of these things, which they so, definitely will. next turn. Oh, wait, they're going to gain. Big brain yeah. strats are being thought out so, of. Okay, let's just get of? that and right. kill their big boy dust. No! We sacrifice no! these two to Bastodon. And That's Wait, ability, I have a good base. idea. How about with Turbo Roberto, you Mas attack Hammerhead Eel... <laughs> Mastodon and then you cost... sacrifice Mastodon to keep Turbo Birdo alive. Mastodon cost, it costs 4 <laughs> DNA, so we <laughs> go down to 1. To and with Planison's ability, we get a Headless Vera. No. Now, Mastodon will... Will... Attack and kill Big Boy Gus. No. Oh, I thought you showed that Turbo Birdo attacking it. That would have been nice. Then Turbo Birdo will pierce through Berry Bush and deal you 150 damage. What? Now we have this to sacrifice if we need to. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's your turn. Oh. We yes. first game DNA. We're at 19. How? Because we're playing Turbo Birdo. Hey, 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 There's hey. There's no way you played hey. a bit. Blue. One second. Oh. One second. Last turn. What happened? Nothing. I don't think you played anything Mish. last turn. Mish. Oh yeah, Mish. We played Mish. Okay. Okay, I think that's it, you right? You played Mission Berry Bush. Oh, no. Yeah, Mission Berry Bush. Okay, that's how we saved up so much. Okay. Wait, did I draw already? I think so. Okay. I don't I don't know, but whatever. Uh, yes, that's good. One second. Okay. <laughs> Too late. Uh, jinx. One second. Uh, what's in your hand? I'm thinking maybe... We, need, we do need to take out the Mastodon, so I think maybe mm. just this. It's fine. Right. I mean, I think it's why wouldn't you do that before I play Strong? What? Why wouldn't you do it before I play Strong? That's why I said wait up. Oh. Well, can oh wait, we, we pay 60 and eight. we forgot. Can we, wait, can we take a quick undo? No. Quick no. undo? No, that's not professional <laughs> and it, it's on video. Who cares? No, um, stop. We undo. Stop cheating. <laughs> no, we're not cheating. Don't be silly. Don't okay, be silly. Alright, um, yeah, you guys That one play was Narnia virus. No, we undo that. No, it's yeah, not you can't undo that. 
Okay, fine. Turbo, uh, the guy, Turtosaurus is on the field, and he got weaker. We're just cutting that out. That was that. really dumb. Okay, um, wait, you why is play? it hard, my girl? You, are you still playing that? I you don't know. have to. Well, I need to kill the master. Okay, okay Lesnarnia by ourselves and misplay. So now Turtosaurus and Hammerhead Eel are both 100-100. But and he's 150-150. Yeah. And Turbo Birdo is also 100-100. Yes. Okay, so now... Okay, that was a big misplay. Yeah. That's... Him? That's very sad. Um, to kill Mastodon? I think we're just gonna... Wait, I have an idea. Look, if I equip... If I play this, and then equip it onto him, and then eat that. Yes. Emil, going down to 8, sacrifice him to Terraro's ability, equip him to Hammerhead Eel... Hammerhead Eel is now 150, 150. Very overpowered. Um, we were at 200. I moved to one. Yeah, I know. I saw you. Yeah, and moved. now, can I drop? Sure. I drop her. I have better and deck, but sure. I think I'm, this is good, right? Yes! Terra Hydromantis Beast going down to four. DNA. Um, Devour so, Mastodon? Let's think. Yeah, no. Mastodon's too strong. So, I think... We're gonna devour. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm not with this guy. <laughs> I thought you would devour him with that. Uh, yeah, probably devour Mastodon with Terra Hedgementus Beast. Oh, imagine. Imagine what? I was about to say a card that we haven't spoiled yet. Anyway, um, Hammerhead Eel will now oh, that not do that. Turtosaurus will also not do that. Oh. Weak. That was a failure. No, how about. Weak. Wait, no. Oh, wait, it's fine if he sacrifices. We attack this. Does it get devoured? With that guy. Not yeah. Uh, yeah. yes. Devoured! Four lives! And right. is very weak. And now this guy does not attack anything. Our turn. Our well, turn. extra yes. defender. We both draw a card and go up to 9 DNA. Yes, 6 DNA for 100, yeah, 100, 100 creature with an ability yes. that's practically All right, good. so we go up to 9. Nine that is good game because we place this for 4. No! Going down oh, to five. And Burning lightning! Just in case, play that. <laughs> place this. For one, because of random apparitions, we can place Berry Bush for one, and we'll go down to four DNA. And yeah. we get Sign Tribe to yes. kill that. Okay. okay. Sign Tribe will kill Hammerhead. He'll all four lives by himself. <laughs> Hammerhead he was really good this game. That was. And then Turbo Birdo will pierce through your weak Turtosaurus and deal you 250 damage. Turtosaurus killed us. That misplay was the reason we lost. <laughs> All right. That was I, awesome. I had these cards in my hand. Good game. I had these cards. I had Astro. Good game. I and had these cards. And that is good game. <laughs> Thank you for had... watching this video. Stay tuned for more battle videos. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the bell. Share this video to get your friends into the spirit of Pine Illusion. And we will see you guys next time. Before we wrap up this video, we'd like to give a shout out to Santos Semos USA. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name right. And the reason for the shout out is because in our previous video, the speed art video, we s said that the first three people to comment correctly about which other video had a speed art in it would get a shout out in this video. And Santos Semos USA was the only one who correctly answered. So big shout out to him and thank you. Goodbye.